welcome to another World of Warcraft Cataclysm beta video. This is Chromar for TGN, and today we're going to go over Twilight Highlands. Uh, we're going to go over the starting quest, how to get there, and how to get established. You start out by going to the Twilight's command board, talking to Garage, and also to Sarnik the Mystic, the guy next to him. They'll give you a couple of quests. The first one, you head out to the Valley of Honor, to the Weaverin's Tale um, bar here, and you go talk to this guy. Uh, whatever his name is, something something Flame Tusk, and a couple of rogues are going to attack you from behind here. It's just like three guys, and the grunt outside will actually assist you, which is kind of funny. So, uh, honestly, you could actually stand back and the, uh, the NPCs will handle these guys easily, but if you feel like fighting, you go right ahead. Now, I'm recording this portion of the video on a DK, but I'm going to be switching to a rogue in a minute. It's just that the, uh, the rogue is who I want to do the whole video on, but I realized I'd already completed the uh, Orgrimmar quests with him, so... I'll just be switching him uh, right after this. So after killing these guys, you go talk to What's-His-Face again, and he'll give you the map, which is the uh, objective of this quest. The second quest, you go out to the uh, tunnel to Ashara, which is the new um, the new exit to Orgrimmar that's been added in Cataclysm. And you're going to run into this guy. He's going to give you a quest to inspect these demolishers. Now, every time I've done this, the uh, the demolisher you want to inspect is at the, the very last one at the end here. Uh, it could just be luck. I think it's like the third time I've done this, but it could just be luck. I'm not sure, but just try that one first. It's probably it. After it blows up, you have to, um, I guess they say, punish the uh, the little goblin here by kicking him across the room. It's pretty hilarious. And after that, go back to uh, garage and turn it in. Once you do the turn-ins, uh, they're going to send you out to the new goblin city in Ashara. So uh, let me just switch over to the rogue here and we'll get uh, started on finishing the rest of these quests. Now this is a really cool city. If you check your map uh, you'll, and look at Ashara, you'll see that they've added this new town called Bilgewater Harbor. And uh, since Ashara has been changed, it's now a level 10 through 20 zone. So right after Duratar, you can actually go to Ashara. So let's look at that map. And you'll actually see it right there, the Bilgewater Harbor and um, so let's go ahead and head there now this is just a really awesome city I mean I'm really impressed by the amount of effort that they've put into making this a really lively city and it's like booty bay times a hundred I mean it's got tons of character there's all these people walking around who are just like I guess they're quest NPCs or whatnot they're just all named characters and, and not just like you know generic citizen or something like that they're all most of them are named and um, they have, I mean, it, it really feels like there's a story here. I'm really impressed by this. There's, it's just, it's just really cool, and I'm really glad that this quest line gives you another opportunity to come here, other than uh, when you were leveling. So the first quest they send you on is to locate these AWOL grunts. You just gotta go right-click on them and uh, whatever it says, chew them out or whatever, and uh, they will be convinced by your words to uh, go back to work. You gotta find about a dozen grunts, but you can a lot of times find them in clumps of like two or three and get them all at once. Occasionally you'll find ones like this guy who is gonna fight back because I guess he doesn't want to go to war. <laughs> so I just beat him up and he'll change his mind. Not a problem. And you still get credit for it too. It's not like that daily quest in Ice Crown with the guys who jump in the pits. Uh, the miners or whatever. It's not like that. So anyway, once you finish that quest, turn it in, and uh, Warlord Krog and um, Captain Kraz over here, who's going to be a recurring character, you can see a lot of him. Uh, Captain Kraz is going to give you a quest to go, uh, basically just go around town looking for stuff. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I really enjoy this this part of this quest because this, this city is so much fun. Um, I also spent a lot of time just checking out buildings, and uh, it was actually just, I just really like this place. I mean, I really have to salute Blizzard for the amount of effort they put into um, what could have been just another ratchet or another gadget in, but this is like all the Goblin Cities put together times two. It's, it's huge. So you head over to the ship here, and you right-click this thing, and that will turn in that quest, and it'll give you another the next part of the chain. And that's going to send you looking for um, a couple different things in town. One of which is this guy running around named, um, what's his name, Smoot or something. There he is. So you just right click on him and he drops his uh, his object that you got to collect. 
Just look for the, the running goblin. He's not hard to, to spot. The other part's a little harder to spot. It's this guy with the straw hat, the foreman. He's actually hiding in the grass out here. It's right outside the inn in the center of town. So just go to the inn, go down the hill a little bit, and he'll see him in the grass. Uh, I did have a little bit of a harder time finding him the first time. But anyway, once you uh, do find him, you just want to go ahead and talk to him, and he's going to fight you just like the AWOL grunts. But he ain't that hard either. So once he gives up, head on back to do your turn ins. First turn into uh, what's her face over here, and then to the warlord and Captain Kraz. That's it for Bilgewater Harbor. Uh, the next quest sends you off to the uh, the next little zone. This is going to be the launching pad. That's going to send you to Twilight Highlands. You go out here to the Zeppelin Tower, which is uh, in the southwest of Ashara. Talk to this guy. Um, it takes about two minutes before the Zeppelin arrives. Because uh, I did, um, I actually looked at, I recorded the whole thing, so I actually went and looked and see how long it took. It felt like an eternity, though. It's just like waiting for Zeppelin and Orgrimmar. It's very annoying. It's also kind of like waiting for the boat and for the uh, vast year opening quest. But anyway, once you take this and wait, the ship does arrive. So you're going to go ahead and hop on board and wait for it to go. Now, um, you need to find something to do to pass the time, read a book or something. But uh, here's what I did. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, yeah. Well, spit it out. Yo, I seen you around here before. Yeah, very funny. Shut it. You're just embarrassing yourself. I do not have time for this. Will you knock it off? You're doing it wrong. What part of time is money, don't you understand? Yeah, I get it. You can poke dates. Not the face. Tickling costs extra, bub. What's shaking? Take us out, Mr. Gidget. Are you challenging me? That's not funny. Okay, so once that silliness is over, um, it's finally going to send you over to Eastern Kingdoms, um, where you can get started on the quest. And uh, you're, as you see, you're actually going to get, you're just going to join this huge fleet, which is pretty awesome, and uh, start your assault on Twilight Highlands. Oh, the <laughs> so Garage shows up. The Alliance steams in close formation without escort. Air Guard, attack! Strafe them now what? while they cannot maneuver! <laughs> <laughs> what kind of madman orders the way as close air support? A winner! You said it, buddy. So anyway, after a little while, you do get attacked uh, by, guess who? Deathwing. Now this part's kind of cool, so I'm just going to let it run. The guns. The guns. Fire everything we've got! Now, 
well, isn't that exciting? So anyway, after the disastrous attack, you're going to go ahead and parachute down and land on this ship called the Remnants of the Fleet. Go ahead and do your turn in here, and it'll get you started on the next part of the quest, which is to secure Dragon Maw Port. And this is going to get you uh, into the first quest hub and uh, get you started on the main quest chains in Twilight Highlands.